Okay, just a quick video to show what we're working on here. This is uh, a little servo setup. So we can tell it to go places and it will go there. I haven't quite got the tuning perfect, but it's pretty close. And I'm also only running on 12 volts right now. So I'm using a little, little PC power supply because I didn't want to break my arm if I happened to grab onto the motor. Um, and it was given full power. Still, you know, fairly strong. Not too bad. And the tuning isn't perfect, but we're getting there. The key point to this is that this little guy right here, this little encoder, uh, there's a couple of them right here just so you can see. These little guys are going to be available for under 20 bucks. Uh, and they will do... 77,000 RPM, 360 degree resolution, um, which is not fantastic, but it's more than good enough for most servo applications, so it's quite accurate. Um, the main thing being the speed. These things will absolutely fly, and even on 12 volts, uh, you can see that motor gets up there and moves. This little motor controller here, notice that there's no um, cooler on them, on the FETs, and they are cold. Uh, of course, again, we're only doing 12 volts, but uh, we have tested this at 24, and it's working quite nicely. And that, again, I think will be available for under 20 bucks. The... PID controller is right here, um, actually running on the PIC right there. This is the emulator. Well, that's the actual chip there, but it'll plug in there. Um, and so there's your your wires coming in from the encoder to the PID and from the PID to the motor driver. Um, and then serial coming in here through a, an RLC uh, USB to TTL serial adapter. So I'm sending commands from Hyper Terminal over here and it is carrying them out. Uh, and I can tune the uh, PID terms uh, from this as well. So for example I can turn up the I term and then we can watch it. Yeah, not too bad actually. I did that before, it was oscillating pretty badly. Let's see what happens if I do this. Huh. It's amazingly good. Um, anyway, so, you know, we can tune the terms on the fly, um, give it motion commands, and um, the next step would be to hook up, you know, standard step and direction input from something like a ramps controller. So the point is that this and this and this turns a DC motor into the equivalent of a stepper motor while giving you enormous power. This particular motor is rated at 1.75 horsepower if we run it at 100 volts DC. Um, that's continuous rating. And at enormous speeds, like I say, up to you know, 77,000 RPM. Um, and the total price is uh, going to be something like, um, you know, probably 40 bucks for the electronics total. So for this and this and this, we're hoping to hit 40 bucks. So look forward to that. Thanks for watching.